Whew. Capricorn. How are you on this fine Saturday? Apparently, um, you got the Seven of Swords here. Hang on. Okay. All right. Seven of Swords, High Priestess. All right. I didn't even get to start out by saying what I needed to say. Anyway. Since Saturn rules Saturday, I have decided to, you know, to lighten my load a little bit. And I'm doing uh, Capricorn and Aquarius on Saturdays. Okay. For now, just to see how that works. Okay. Because this, you know, doing these readings, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's, it's a lot. It's a lot. So anyway, with that being said, Seven of Swords. What's going on? High Priest is at the bottom of the deck. Somebody is. Hmm. Page of Pentacles. Nine of Swords. Nine of Cups. Hermit. Are you watching someone? Are you wanting to reach out to someone for their experience or their expertise? Seven of Swords and a Nine of Cups. That's, that's interesting extremes. Somebody's... Okay. Somebody may need help. That's all it is. Somebody's not really sure. Somebody hasn't spoken to a person in a long time. Okay. And they've always had fond memories of that person. They're wondering if they can actually, you know, talk to them. They feel like they maybe have left them out, you know, left them alone for a, a little while. And they kind of want to reach back out to them. All right. Sometimes it happens. That's life. You know, things happen. People get busy. They move on to something else. Yada, yada, yada. Okay. I feel like somebody needs somebody's help or their experience or their expertise or just their counsel, okay? I feel like somebody feels guilty about something. So, okay, so... <laughs> sometimes this happens where people... You tell them things that, you know, they need to hear, but they don't want to hear. I was just kind of like going through the, going, going over that with, uh, with Aquarius just now. It's things that people, people want to hear certain things, you know, versus what you want to hear and what you need to hear. Whoever this person is, they tell you what you need to heal to become better, to become great. Okay. Literally, we're just saying this to Aquarius. They tell you what you need to hear. They're not going to blow smoke up your butt. They're not going to do anything to make it because they're just like, you know what? I would expect, you know, people to tell me something. If I'm doing something wrong or whatever, just let me know. Um, you don't have to berate me. You don't have to insult me. You don't have to degrade me. Okay. Humiliate me. Just say, hey, you know, hey, you might have a, you know, you might want to clean your nose. You know, whatever it is. You don't just let somebody hang out to dry where they talk to everyone. They have this booger hanging out of their nose. You know, you want somebody to have your back. You want somebody to tell you, hey, you might not want to do that. Or you might not want to say that to that person, you know, because, you know, whatever. Take it for whatever it is. But somebody, it's like somebody just wants to always hear great. You know, you're great. You're this, you're that all the time. That's not reality. If somebody's doing that, then they're fake. They're being fake to your face. They're being false. And that's kind of something that happened here. Now, somebody probably distanced themselves from somebody because this person was always raw and real with them. I don't think that they were, you know, and it's the hermit. It's, it's not somebody that's, you know, doing it to hurt somebody. It's just being honest. It's being truthful. Okay. Now, it's not like, like the word pandering, you know, it's not somebody saying, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to 
my nose is so brown. I'm just going to like, to, you know, tell you everything that you want to hear because I think you're great, you know, and I just want you to like me, you know, or whatever it is. It's not that. That's not what this person is. That's not what they're about. Okay. I get that sometimes. People do, you know, I'm very, with my readings, I'm always, you know, I keep it real. I'm not going to tell, you know, and people, some people don't like that. They want to hear, they want to hear, they want me to make up stuff for them all the time. No, I'm like, I can't do that, you know. So that's kind of what you have here. You have somebody that doesn't, so let's look at it this way. Somebody doesn't want to work on themselves. They don't want to work on their weaknesses. They don't want to work on their flaws. They just want to kind of like go through life and have people continue to whatever. All right. Um, and that's kind of the bottom line of what I'm getting here. So. I feel like this person's kind of like rethinking it because let's say somebody got into, you know, I st you know, you stop hanging around or you stop contacting somebody or you stop associating with them because, you know, you didn't like what they were telling you because, you know, they were telling you the truth, but maybe you didn't, maybe you were in denial or whatever it was. So you kind of stopped dealing with that person. You got with people who just kind of like, you know, blew smoke up your butt all the time and you just because they just acted like, you know, whatever. But then you found out the real fakeness. And you could even be circling around and be like, hey, that person actually told me about that. And I didn't listen and I didn't want to hear it. So that's what you have. Somebody is wishing to reconnect and speak to that person and kind of like absorb. I'm getting the word absorb. Regain some of their counsel, some of their insight, some of their, you know, some of their wisdom. Some of their wisdom, you know. They miss somebody because... Their wisdom was, I'm getting the word, phenomenal, okay? Their wisdom. Their wisdom was just, yeah. Basically, you could say it this way, somebody's maturing. Somebody's been forced to mature, you know? They needed somebody to tell them, you know, how good they are all the time and yada, 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 and they don't do anything wrong and, and just be a yes man and agree with them all the time. And now they're just like, okay, I've seen how life is. And I've seen that, you know, how people really are. Man, I grew up really, really quick. I got out of that, you know, immature ideology or that mentality. Okay. Let me see. Get the... Anyway, I don't know why I had to do that. All right. So now it's not romantic. There's someone who wants. Seven, seven. Six of Cups. Yeah. So what do you do? I don't know if this is you or, or if that's how you're feeling about it or, you know, I don't know who you are. Either you are the hermit person or you could be the Queen of Swords person. I was actually just thinking that. Seven of Wands, Three of Swords. Justice. You know... I get this feeling that somebody did something to cause a major problem. Major problem. So whoever it is that they invested in or they turn their back on the real one to the fake one, the fake one probably put them in such a bad position that they may not be able to go back to the real one. <laughs> it's true. Um... Yeah. Have a Libra energy, you know. Libra energy. Libra energy is, you know, something about is Libra is Nemesis. Okay. It's after the, the goddess Nemesis. Okay. Retribution, you know. So let's not blame that person, whoever it is. That person there, you know, was basically showing you where your weakness was. What your flaw was, the nemesis, you know, whoever this is that balanced everything that, you know, if you're going to hang out with me, I'm your catalyst. If you're going to hang out with me, you know, you're going to be fake, but I'm going to be fake to you too. There it is. Okay. So if you want real, you want truth, but you kind of let go of that. All right. That's what I'm getting. Somebody's heart is broken. Somebody's feeling very, very sad. And they may need somebody else's help, wisdom, or counsel. And they're unable to because, I keep getting the word nemesis. 
Nemesis got involved. Okay? Nemesis. Somebody put their faith in Nemesis. Nemesis did their job. I hope you're following. I hope this makes sense. So, let's look at this through... Let's look at this in layman's terms. Let's look at it in layman's terms. You had a friend, you know, who was always telling you, you know, the truth or, you know, they would always kind of give you, you know, insight or whatever. Maybe used to give, they used to give you advice or whatever. And maybe you wanted it. But then after a while, you were like, man, this person's always telling me the things that are, you know, whatever. And you like kind of pulled yourself away or, or, and maybe you stopped liking them or maybe you found another person, this nemesis, this other person. Um, we're just calling this person nemesis. <laughs> Maybe you found this person and was like, um, hey, uh, oh, I, I, you hang out with that person. Oh, well, you should, you should see this person or you should do this or do that. Okay. Um, and then you started kind of like going around their friends or, and their peers and whatever it is, peers, I'm getting the word peers, um, and started kind of getting submerged into that, why do I want to say culture? I don't know why these words are coming out, but I'm hearing these words. Okay. Uh, uh, anyway. Weird. Okay. So anyway. I don't want to say cancel culture, but I'm, that word's kind of coming to mind. Hey, hey, well, in a sense, I guess you could say. Hanging out with somebody, you know, people that just aren't, you know. They're not authentic. They're not authentic. You know, they want you to kind of stay away from somebody because that person's an outsider. They're not like us. You know, they're honest. They're truthful. They could have, you know, they could have differences, you know, different from us. We like this. So hang out with us. You know, I have a better person for you anyway. You see this person if you need to see this or you need to do that. You know, I have this friend or whatever. So something happened and you found out how fake they were. Now you or whatever. You know, you or whoever it is that's dealing with you, okay? Could be the other person. And maybe you could be the real one that somebody had left, all right? That's what I got. Basically, somebody... Somebody effed themselves. They got rid of a real one for a fake one. Yeah. That person is now a nemesis, all right? Basically, all it was was a, a separation, separating the good from the bad, separating the, you know, the strong from the weak. It's kind of, what in the world? In a nutshell, yeah. So, somebody came in between, this is such a, this, I, I don't. I'm trying to figure out what it is that it, specifically I'm channeling. I keep seeing a bunch of different things. I'm just leaving it at that. <laughs> I'm seeing a whole bunch of stuff. Basically, though, somebody just can't go back. Maybe they're embarrassed to go back. Maybe whoever it is knows that they did, that they betrayed them. That they left them for somebody else, took somebody else's side. So whoever this person is cannot come, we're gonna say you. Whoever this person is cannot come back to you, okay? This definitely doesn't feel necessarily like it's romantic. No. No. Somebody sees how fake another person was that they kind of like, you know, that they gave their time and attention to. It's like seeing the bigger picture. I hope this is making sense. Devil, yeah. Somebody did something just because they were persuaded by the devil. They were, it was temptation, you know, temptation. So let's say it's the cool kids, you know, the cool clique. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I, I'm getting something like that. You know, we're cool because we all believe in this. And if you don't believe in this, then, you know, shame on you. Well, I want to be with the cool kids, so I'm going to, you know, change my ideas and my ideologies. And I'm going to, going to lie about the way that I feel about certain things. You know, this is weird. That's basically how the devil traps everyone. It's how, that's how the devil collects souls. Uh, I don't know where I'm channeling all this, but that's, that's how the devil collects souls. 
This is an interesting reading. This is fascinating. That's how the devil collects souls. <laughs> Bottom line. I hope you followed this reading. That's how the devil collects souls. So somebody probably wasn't supposed to be around that person. That's just a way of weeding it out. Somebody had to learn. Somebody had to learn the hard way about the truth about how people really, really are. Somebody had to learn the hard way about the truth about how people really, really are. So, let's just say this was romantic. Let's just say it was. Let's say somebody has a lot of experience in certain things with relationships and they see a pattern in a, in a certain person. They're like, hey, I don't know that you want to really deal with that person. You know, I, I really think that you might want to kind of consider, you know, think about these things. But whoever this person was, was like, um, no, uh, I, I don't want to listen to you. I, I'm going to do what I want to do because I believe I can do this. And, and this person likes me and yada, yada, yada. Well, what happened is they went off with that person romantically and that person burned them. Yeah, you, know, you, 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 you do have this three of swords. You do have this three of swords. So somebody wanted what they wanted because of the temptation. That they were lured. They thought that they could actually get what it was that they wanted. And what happened is, is they got the exact opposite. Maybe temporarily they got what they wanted, but it wasn't for the long term. Okay? It was just a simple, you know, brief pleasure. Okay? That was how the devil kind of got you, that trapped you. You know, whoever this is. Okay? But that's what somebody needed to see. Somebody kind of let their ego decide for them. What was right or what was wrong? They, they've ignored any red flags. Even a person that was very, very wise was telling them, hey, you might want to watch yourself because this, I sense this or I see this or, you know, I know this. You know, this person might have known some kind of inside information and maybe had told somebody something, you know, and, and told this person. And this person was like, I don't care. I, I'm, I'm going to do what I want to do. And that blew up in somebody's face, it completely blew up in somebody's face. So somebody said, don't trust somebody. They trusted them. And it had, it's, it's bad. It's bad. I'm leaving it there. What's the cup of swords? It's not your problem. Don't worry about it. It's not your problem. Don't worry about it. This is not about getting even or I told you so. That could be what this is. And I know that could be very tempting to Capricorn. Don't do that. No reason to. No reason to. They already know. They already know. Yeah. Just continue to work on you. Work on your money. You know, work on your business. Whatever it is. Mind your own business. In fact, it's not even your business. You know what? That's somebody else's problem. It's not my business. That's what I'm getting. It's not my business. You know? Whatever it is. And that could be a part of a lot of it. Okay? If somebody could be coming to you with some sort of, you know, then you have that too. You got the Eight of Wands. You also have the Knight of Swords. And you have the Queen of Pentacles. Somebody could be coming back to you to kind of tell you, you know, what somebody did to another person. You know, drama. Somebody could be coming back to tell you somebody got hurt. You know, hey, that person that, that that did that to you, guess what happened to them? You know, those things are good, but you know, you could be like, you know, it. it's fine. It's, you know, it sucks for them, but that's not my problem. That's not, that's none of my business. You know, that's up to them. Re maintain that. Just maintain that energy, you know. Don't fall into that temptation. All right. It only, it only repeats the cycle over and over again. He's a little uncomfortable. So. I am getting that there, somebody may, somebody probably really wants to tell somebody, I told you so, but I don't think that's, I don't think that's the right way to go about it. I don't. It might feel good, but you're just going to, you're just only kind of being like the same as, as they are. And it's up to you. Um, you know, definitely somebody could be coming back to kind of like, you know. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's best you probably don't get involved. And even tell them, say, it's none of my business. I'm not getting involved. Okay? I'm doing me. I'm worrying about myself. 
It has, that does not concern me in any way, shape, or form. That is not my problem, you know? There's nothing I can do, you know? You betrayed my trust once, you know? And um, what happened last time is, you know, we know what happened last time. So my hands are tied. I cannot, you know, trust you. So it's like that. All right, I'm leaving it there. All right, Capricorn, enjoy your week. And um, that's it. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Please and thank you. <laughs> if you'd like to reach out to me to book a private reading, you can email becomethestar1111 at gmail.com. Or you can contact me through Instagram, become a star. It's all one word, all lowercase letters. All right. I don't reach out to people. You have to reach out to me. Be careful. There's a lot of scammers out there pretending to be me and they're stealing my content. And become the star is misspelled. So pay attention to the spelling. All right. That's it. Good luck.